Oh no, I need a multi-tool and I only have one free hand. What will I do? Today we're going to be looking at the Leatherman OHT, one-handed tool I think is what that stands for. It's designed to be operated with one hand. So you've got that, that's pretty easy. Each one of the tools is located on the outside, so you can get to it with just one hand. Some of them are easier than others, admittedly. That's kind of a pain to get out. But this side, if I need to cut a strap, it's right there. You can close it with one hand. It works really well. This is another one of the tools that I carry every day. It's in my main tool pouch. I carry other multi-tools. I'm, I'm guessing you do too. But this one, this one, it stays in my main pouch for, for reasons. And, and not the least of these is, in my line of work, by the time I realize I need this, my left hand is already holding something where it needs to be. It's holding something in place. My options are to either grab this or to take whatever I'm working on, set it down, pull out a tool, a more specific tool for the job, pick whatever I'm working on back up, put it in place. Hopefully that doesn't take two hands. Otherwise I'm holding a pair of pliers or a screwdriver in my mouth. Then doing the work with this, I can at least get things started and get, you know, get the lock or the crash bar in place. Now, things I'd like to cover on this. It opens just that easily. It's spring-loaded. These blades, there's a hardened wire cutter section and there's a, a straight wire cutter section. These blades are removable, they're replaceable. That's super, super handy. You all know that there's nothing worse than getting a nice expensive multi-tool, using the wire cutters, they get dull, and then they are very difficult to sharpen and they're not replaceable. So the replaceability of these is a huge, huge factor for me. Another thing that I really enjoy is that everything can be opened with one hand. Some are easier than others. Pushing the saw out with my index finger, not the easiest thing, but I don't use the saw a lot. I do, however, use straight blade a lot. As you can see, I'm, I'm operating this with mostly one hand. Let's face it, once you've used the tool, putting it back, you've probably got two hands free. But I would have put the flat, the large flat blade where the bottle opener goes, because I don't use a bottle or can opener a lot with my hands tied up. That's just a thing. But all in all, I love this thing. Now, they say in the description, it's got 16 tools. This one, that, see that slot right there? I guess that's supposed to be an oxygen tank opener. I've never had to open an oxygen tank. I don't know. One of the ways this was marketed to me and this may apply to you, is that you can use this easily with gloves on. Let's try it out. Now I'm wearing gloves. Let's, let's, oh, oh, that worked just fine. Let's do that again, oh. Working just fine, springs are still working. The gloves do get pinched in it, you might, you might expect that. Oh, can cut belts again. All right, there's the straight blade. If I need a saw. I love that these things have saws and I've actually used them for things, but they always seem a little bit funny to me. Everything can be used with one hand with gloves on. And that that that's super, 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 super handy. That this is as marketed, which I really enjoy. Now, there's something about this that I I, I despise. I know why it's here, I understand it, but it's this little, it's this little thing. It's this little thing right here. What that is, is that's the lock. And when the pliers are all the way in and this gets turned, you can't do anything with it. And this is actually, when you're in a hurry, when, when you're working quickly, when, when you actually need a one-handed tool, and you pull it out of your tool belt and that's locked, that's frustrating. That's seriously frustrating. Leatherman, Leatherman, if you ever listen to me, I mean, you're a great company. I've loved your stuff for years, but if you ever listen to me, get rid of the lock, get rid of it. It's not necessary. If I drop this thing and the pliers come out, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. If you're not gonna get rid of the lock, make an easy way for people who use tools to use tools to remove the lock. I haven't found one so far, and I, I love this thing. I don't wanna break it, and I don't wanna take a, a, the risk of accidentally destroying it while I'm trying to make it more useful to me. Now, if you go to the Leatherman website, it says that the blades are made from 420 uh, HC, high carbon steel. 
I'm not a metallurgist. I don't know what that means. Maybe you do. If you know more about steel grade, steel grading than I can find on a Wikipedia page, comment down below. I'm really curious. I'd like to know what they're talking about. This is the Leatherman OHT. I recommend it. For 90 bucks, I've used this. I've had this for three years now, four years maybe. It, it's, it gets used a lot. And as you can see here, it's not new but it's in great shape. I put it through the works. <laughs> Apparently I really like to cut belts. I don't know. So I'm Trent with Columbus Key located in Columbus, Indiana. If you need a locksmith in Columbus or the surrounding areas, give us a call. You need your house rekeyed, you locked yourself out of your out of your vehicle, you need your office rekeyed, you need things master keyed, give us a call. We'd love, we'd love the work. Uh, thank you very much and we'll see you next time. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the, that little bell so you get notifications. I'm gonna keep doing these tool reviews as long as people keep watching them. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you have any ideas or requests for tools for me to review uh, also comment those down below I'm looking forward to hearing from you thank you very much and we'll see you next time